Nueva and Vista West high schools have received statewide recognition as model continuation high schools for 2022. Thank you for joining us for the KHSD Weekly Wrap Up. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark. Nueva and Vista West High Schools were honored last weekend at the California Continuation Education Association Plus or CCEA conference held in Long Beach. To represent the school and the district, it's quite an honor. It's been, this is a great place to work. I tell people this is a diamond in the rough. Vista West is the best and uh, we have an amazing staff that has worked so very hard year in and year out. Vista West and Nueva joined 34 other schools on the Distinguished Model Schools list for demonstrating comprehensive services for at-risk youth through exemplary programs, instructional strategies, guidance, and counseling. The Model Continuation High School's recognition program is a partnership between the California Department of Education and the CCEA+. Schools were selected based on a comprehensive application process that included a peer review and site visit. And the one thing students and staff at both schools can agree on is the sense of family and support offered on their campuses. Nueva High School is special because it's a family. It's not your regular school, it's small, and you get to know everybody. You know, it's very personal. I like coming to school. This school has actually shown me what support is like and what it's like to have people that actually care about you. After high school, I hope to go to college. Um, I'm not really sure as to what to study, but I am interested in phlebotomy. But that's one option, but other than that, um, I'm still focusing on what path I'm going to. So not only do we get model school, we won an exemplary program award for our tier two and intervention system. And I think that just shows how much uh, blood, sweat, tears, and heart we've really put into this program and building this program and the system. And, and to be recognized kind of shows out there in the community that Vista West and continuation, it does sometimes have a little bit of a stigma and that we're really doing good work here. We have great teachers and uh, just an overall great staff. Everybody's invested into our students. Everybody here wants to see each student thrive and be the best that they can be. Nueva and Vista West High Schools will retain their model continuation high school designation for three years. Welcome to the Kern Ag Foundation's award scholarship banquet. Kern County's top ag students were honored and received thousands of dollars in scholarship money during the annual Kern County Ag Scholarship and Awards Banquet. The Kern Agricultural Foundation hosted the event at the Kern Ag Pavilion, which included dinner, special guest speaker Stephen Murray Jr. from Murray Family Farms, and scholarship presentations. Thank you to all of the generous donors who support our students and make this event possible. Miramonte's Ag Mechanic team has made school history. The team recently competed at the California FFA State CDE Finals and won the state champion title, making it the first championship title for their chapter. The students will be advancing to compete at nationals later this year. We also want to acknowledge Miramonte's Ag Communications team, which took home third place at state. Way to represent the pride, Lions. Congratulations, Stockdale senior Claire Park, for being named a National Merit $2,500 scholarship winner. Park was chosen from a talent pool of more than 15,000 finalists in the 2022 National Merit Scholarship Program. Winners were judged on a combination of accomplishments, skills, and potential for success in rigorous studies. Park is interested in pursuing a career in the field of biology. Student art took over the modern GG gallery in downtown Bakersfield last Friday for the annual KHSD Visual Arts Showcase. Family and friends toured the gallery and mingled with student artists who submitted their best work that aligned with categories including 2D and 3D pieces, mixed media, use of color, senior artists, and rising star artists. Best 3D work goes to Andres Ramirez. The reception concluded with an award ceremony. To see the full list of winners, visit kernhigh.org. I am successful. I am successful. I am happy. I am happy. I am prosperous. I am prosperous. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am loved. I am loved. I am valued. I am valued. I am respected. I am respected. I am kind. I am kind. I am confident. I am confident. I am awesome. I am awesome. Soy poderosa. Soy poderosa. Young lady.
ladies, part of the mentorship program Poder, cheered for each other and their accomplishments during the end of the year recognition luncheon Tuesday. Poder stands for providing opportunities for development, empowerment, and resilience. Its mission is to encourage Latina girls in the district to set goals, stay motivated, gain confidence, and explore college and career opportunities. Being a part of this program has been a pleasure. My favorite and most memorable experience has been hearing the stories and the life experiences, the journeys of past panel speakers. I hope to hear more from them in the future. All these little trips that we've been doing has gave us a lot of opportunity to meet a lot of new girls. Um, and yeah, for us to do better and just remember that Latinas girls are always capable to do whatever they want. The luncheon concluded with each student receiving a pin to recognize their commitment to the program. Way to lead, ladies. I'm happy to show you the e-glass, so come on over here and take a look. So this is a tool to really engage your students, and it encompasses what we call embodied learning. The days of writing lessons with chalk on a chalkboard are becoming a thing of the past. E-glass, virtual reality, and 3D printers. Teachers and school administrators got to see firsthand the latest and greatest classroom technologies on display at the EdTech Symposium held at the district office. Representatives were there to demonstrate high-tech products during the open house and answer questions. Integrating educational technology in the classroom is beneficial for teachers and students as it allows them to better engage and learn in unique and innovative ways. On Wednesday, we celebrated National School Nurse Day in the district. This year's theme is School Nurses, Bridging Healthcare and Education. Our school nurses play an integral role in the health of our students. In the past two years have not been easy, but our nurses have stepped up to the plate by improving the delivery of health care in our schools to ensure our students are ready to learn. Thank you for your support and dedication to our students, staff, and school sites. Thank you for watching the KHSD Weekly Wrap-Up. To view more videos from across the district, please visit the Kern High School District Public Information YouTube page. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.